Time for some simple sandwiches and salads that work as light dinner or a pack-and-go lunch. Joining us this morning, Melissa Perello, head chef of the soon-to-open Francis in San Francisco restaurant. Good morning. Congrats Good morning. on the new restaurant. Thank you very much. I'm excited to be here. And you're naming the restaurant after? After my grandmother, who I grew up cooking with. Oh, that's, oh, that's so perfect. Great. Yeah. That's so great. Going to well, share some of her secrets with us? Absolutely. Okay, good. What, what are we, we make? making? So today we're going to make a couple really simple, easy uh, salads and sandwiches. Mm -hmm. um, and the first one we're going to start is a jazzed up uh, grilled cheese. So we're using a, uh, a, a nice mixed milk, really creamy triple creme cheese. And then um, we're going to use... Mm. We're going to use a nice raisin walnut bread to kind of People never think of using a bit. fancy cheese for grilled cheese, Absolutely. but why not? Why not? Is there any so, cheese that's off limits when it comes to making a grilled cheese? I say no. I think uh, use your imagination and mix Leave it up. Well. Even Maybe even use several cheeses in one sandwich. Oh. I would love to. Okay. Leave, leave so, um, Maggie, do you want to go ahead and just brush sure. the cheese? Oh, do you want to do the work? Just the yeah. just this oh, just part. And then part. Um, I'll have you cut a couple slices of the, uh, okay. the cheese as well, and we'll... Sandwich that on the bread. Why do I want to brush this with uh, olive oil? We're going to brush it on one side only, oh, and then that's going to be perfect. our cooked side. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then we'll put the cheese on the other, and let's just load it up with a oh, couple you want slices. To really load it up. Really yeah. nice, ooey gooey, ooey triple gooey. cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Ooey gooey, I think, is an actual. Uh, uh, that's a technical term. term. <laughs> yes, we That'll learned that at culinary right. school. There you go. So you want the olive oil coated uh, side on the outside, and mm. we're just going to basically go right into the pan. You put butter on that pan because I smell it, haven't you? <laughs> um, I'm not going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Chef secrets. So you want kind of a, a medium heat pan here, and you can do this several ways. You can use a panini press. You can simply just use a spatula, or you could go as far as to use a. Um, a uh, panini, an electric panini maker, makes it really simple and easy. Those are so hot right now. Basically, those are just Absolutely. pressed sandwiches, right? Absolutely, yeah. So I'm going to actually go ahead. Yes, please try. You try? You too. Yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You sure? <laughs> there you go. Ridiculous. How good. is it? Mm, really creamy. Mm -hmm. Anything with raisin bread. So another fun, mm. really simple, easy, late summer, early fall dish. Um, is we're going to do a little mixed green salad with a tomato vinaigrette. All right. So I start with um, tomatoes that have been peeled by um, just dipping them in boiling water. Right. Just kind um, of scald them. How long do you usually leave, leave just them? Just a few though? seconds. It depends on the ripeness of the tomato and right. the size of the tomato. Mm -hmm. And then you go into a little ice water bath. Right. And the, um, the skin will just peel right away. And then I just do a really simple chop on the tomatoes. What tomato do you like to use for your salad? Um, well, I love heirloom tomatoes. And for this salad, I really like to use nice, dark colored, fleshy, Those are very gorgeous. ripe are. tomatoes. Really, really pretty tomatoes. They're delicious. Oh, don't look so and good. it's perfect time right now. Mm -hmm. Tomato. It is. It's kind of season. tomato city. Yeah. Yep. So. I just, those guys. These go right into. You can put us to work. We're, absolutely. We're, yeah. I'm going to have bad. you right. muddle these tomatoes. So oh, we're right. gonna, Tell us what muddling is exactly. Well, it's it's actually right, a technique used for making cocktails. Right. And so basically, you're just using the stick to kind of break up the fruit a little bit and uh, accentuate all those flavors, bring mm. everything together. I think and, I uh, thought it's about a fun way, salad. fun way of mixing it up. Yeah. Okay. So we've got um, the peeled tomato. Right. This is a little a bit little of lemon zest. Lemon zest. Mm. Yeah. A little lemon juice. Oh yeah. Mm. And then we're gonna give it a little bit more of a muddle. Yeah. A couple more. Oh, break okay. it up just a little bit more. You know. A I'm, little I'm salt. A, I'm a master muddler. Are you? <laughs> yes. We'll check out your technique. Is that a title? I've spent, I've Do you have spent, a degree? I've spent my entire life just muddling through. <laughs> I created this recipe just for you. Thank you so much. Salt, black yeah, pepper. Yeah, liking it. Liking yeah. it a lot now. This is a little banyols vinegar. Mm. Banyols vinegar. If you can't find banyols, you could actually use just a simple red wine oh, vinegar. would smell, work as well. It really smells yeah. good, right? Terrific. And then really nice extra virgin olive mm -hmm. oil. Mm -hmm. And then we can go ahead and just mix shake, it up. Shake, 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 shake. Let's see I've done this. A cocktail that's too. actually a Sounds salad. Sounds about right. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see how that looks. How's it look? Come on looks in, good. Jeff and I. Give it a taste. Check this We're out. Coming. Right? Yeah. Did we get good it right? Good job. He did then, good. Absolutely. Then sure. just, just <laughs> pour right over. <clears throat> Nice Look at muddling, that. Eric. Excellent muddling. Yeah, yeah I was uh, yes. admiring the muddling. Quite the technique. So the greens in here are um, a little bit of torn um, mint leaves, 
uh, parsley mm -hmm. and some nice watercress. So we'll just yeah. mix that up. Yeah, that looks, looks so beautiful. good. And Let me then ask you a real quick question. Absolutely. Uh, so your brand new restaurant brand in new San restaurant. Francisco, we're gonna open this fall, and in 30 seconds or less, or actually less than 30 seconds, what do you want to achieve there? Small, comfortable, casual Small. neighborhood restaurants, um, delicious food. Yeah.